Folks, how's everybody doing today? Is it working? I think it's working. All right, uh, interesting conversation today. Really interesting conversation. As I sit here with my depressing heavy bags. Nah, I'm kidding. Life's too short to not have fun. This Commander Masters set box situation, I've been following it every day, and I'm really getting very intrigued by the situation. On one hand, I'm watching other YouTubers and content creators and OnlyFans girls and the OnlyFeet.com picture thing, and I'm watching all these websites where they're cracking Commander Masters set boxes. And I'm like, dude, these boxes are producing some insane secondary market single value on these set boxes. But the market is so angry over wizards jacking the price <laughs> to stores in the 320s for a set box. And it's the, the price point was overly done on this particular box. It should have been half that probably. You know, if you guys didn't know, back in the day, like Commander Ma not Commander Masters, uh, Masters 25, Iconic Masters, uh, Modern Masters 2013, Modern Masters 2015, Modern Masters 2017, Eternal Masters, Iconic, M25. All of those original Master sets, store cost was like 140 to 150 a box, okay? And stores would sell them on average, well, even Iconic Masters at launch, you would sell for like 180 to like 200 to 210, 220. And even then, back then, like, I remember years ago, if I sold a, a master set for, I don't know, 209 instead of 199 people would be angry, patrons would be like, I'm closing my account, you scumbag, you ruined my life. Arr! You know, and I remember, and now, when you see these insane prices in 2023, insane relative to five years ago, the question is, looking at the single cards, are the prices not going to completely tank on these single cards? Everybody's expecting it to tank. But it's not tanking as fast as I thought it would tank, if that makes sense. So you have this tug of war, where stores are on the hook at 320s a box. Can't sell them. I think online. I think they're what 280 plus tax now. So they're under 300. So stores are already upside down, like 20 percent before shipping and fees and selling costs. So stores are like many stores have chosen just crack all the Commander Masters set boxes. And looking at people doing box openings of this product, I'm like, okay, so are the singles over are too expensive and they need to drop? It, are the sealed boxes tanking and they're underpriced or over? It's very difficult to get a vibe on who's right or wrong on this because it's a really, really weird situation. Now, obviously, full disclosure, uh, I did not sell any customers, patrons, do any box openings, have any plans to do box openings. Um, I don't have any Commander Master set boxes. Um, I didn't. I told everybody in the last two months. I had a lot of concern and instincts, calls and anxiety over the extreme price points in ordering this product. So I did not focus on that. I only sold collectors and commanders, which both have held up a lot better financially, thankfully. Um, but I am watching it because now I'm like, okay, if this thing goes from the 280s to like 250s online. Like, after shipping and fees, stores are netting, like, two twenty five dollars a box. Like, there's a point where it's like, okay, if these Commander Master boxes go from the 320s to 350 depending if you're a customer or a store, and it goes now, you take off 30%, 40%, and it goes to the low 200s, and that much financial value and equity is wiped out, and it drops that far. Like, I feel like we all need to reevaluate at this point, okay, like... When you're just above two hundred dollars a box, even two twenty, hell, even two fifty, like twenty four packs of Commander Masters, at that price point, everything's completely different. But I don't. The biggest risk is that no store is going to buy from a distributor in the three twenties, even if the distributor marks it down to three hundred. No one's going to restock and buy it. And if no one does that, we talked about this in the other video, it's going to bottleneck that supply chain. Because I assure you, distribution can probably place an open PO purchase order with Watsi to restock um, probably Commander Masters draft and set specifically. And on these set boxes, if distribution can't move them, 
and Wizards is not lowering the price distribution or stores are. If, if no one's willing... To, okay, Wizards, at this point, if they're going to release more product of Commander Masters set into the market, I guess even draft, I'm kind of focusing on set, because this is kind of my... The set was always kind of the thing that, tr that triggered and made me all re and angry, because it's just so absurdly expensive. And Wizards only has two options. And it's either you lower the price and you offer it to distribution, to stores, to the public, or B, they lower the price and Amazon dump it at the end of the year or any time. So both possible scenarios result in the set boxes have to be lowered in price. Because otherwise, whoever's involved in that chain of command, that food chain of supply, from wizards to distributor to store to the public... Somebody in that chain has to take the write down. Well, no one's going to take that kind of a loss. If you're going to buy a thousand boxes and you got to write down 20% right off the gate or 30, 40%, I mean, a thousand boxes at $320 is, oh my God, is that, was that 300? Is that a third of a million? I think it's like 320,000, right? Yeah. So what are you going to do? Sell them for 200,000? Lose a lose 100 G's? 100 grand? Like, that's not going to happen. No store is going to assume that kind of risk to make no money or little money or just nothing. So no one's going to restock it. So the only other possibility, which Wizards has proven that they, I guess, well, they, they have thrown cards in the, the landfill before. I guess it is a possibility. The only other option is they're going to have to destroy the product for a tax write-off. And again, Wizards and Hasbro can take a tax loss on that. Now, I don't know... Somebody in the comment section below, if you're a corporate accounting, like, tax specialist for corporations, if Wizards has a million dollars worth of Commander Masters, or let's say $10 million, if they have $10 million worth of Commander Masters set boxes <coughs> in market value that they would sell to a distributor at, I don't know, 300 or 280 a box, if they destroy that product, is the write-down the fair market value of the product destroyed? Is the write down the lost opportunity of the cost of revenue on the item? Is the lost op is the write down the cost to manufacture per box their actual cost? Because that changes quite a bit. Think about this: if there's ten million in Commander Master set boxes in their warehouse, Texas or something, and their cost on that ten million is a hundred grand. I know, right? What? couple cents on the dollar or five cents even if it's a half a million okay it's five cents on the dollar the incremental cost to print the extra boxes some minimal cost who knows i'm hell you know what 10 cents on the dollar so that 10 million dollar product their actual cost to manufacture it, it let's say is a million dollars out of the 10 million in market value if they destroy that since it costs them a million to produce it do they take the one million right off or do they take the 10 million market value or the $8 million that they should have been paid from distribution. How do you determine that? And then on top of that, who's to stop them from lying and doing accounting... I don't want to say accounting fraud, but I guess it would be. You know, who's to stop them from... How do you... You see what I'm saying? Like That, that sliding scale can get really wishy-washy for shadiness. So, I guess the answer to that would be really dependent on what their actions would be. Because again... If they, can, if they destroyed the product in a landfill, and that $10 million is only a million dollar tax write-off, that's not much of an impact to them. But if they take the $10 million in product, and they fire sold these $300 set boxes for $149 on Amazon, well, I mean, that $10 million would, you know, even 50 cents on the dollar, that $10 million would bring in $5 million instead of the tax write-off of $1 million. So it would still be in Wizards Hasbro's best interest to fire sale and damage the market because they don't care about long term. And again, I mean, come on. I mean, well, the, I'm surprised. Do Magic? I'm, I'm surprised at this point. I'll be honest with you all. I'm surprised Commander Masters, Cynthia Williams, didn't put a pack of cigarettes inside each pack of Commander Masters. That's probably what she should have done. I mean, they're killing the game long term. They might as well kill the player long term. Ayo! Too soon! Ha <laughs> ha!